What's going on everybody? This is Living in Arizona Now and today we're going to do a video on things not to do in Arizona. Let's get into it. Alright, so one thing not to do in Arizona is cut down these beautiful saguaro cactuses. So, uh, obviously if you're building a house, uh, they're going to have to remove the saguaro cactus. Well, there is guidelines on how to remove a saguaro cactus. So. Uh, Another thing you shouldn't do to saguaro cactus is, is damage it. Don't hit it with sticks. Don't let your friends come into town and hit it with sticks, baseball bats. Every once in a while, you'll even go to a golf course and unfortunately, you'll see a golf ball stuck into the saguaro cactus. But really, these are endangered species. These, this is an endangered plant, okay? These only grow here and one place down in uh, South America. So really, uh, saguaro cactuses, protect them. Uh, appreciate them and don't damage them or cut them down. All right, another thing not to do in Arizona is go hiking up into these kind of mountains like this without telling someone where you're going or taking a phone or a map because you would be surprised how many people go up into the mountains a mile or two and they get lost and they don't know where to go. And if you don't have a phone or a map or experience of getting out of there, you might actually get stuck up in the mountains. I mean, these mountains right here, looks like you might be able, they look, friendly enough, but you'd be surprised how many people get lost in those mountains up there. And another thing is, do not litter. When you go camping, when you go hiking, when you go to the lake, don't think it's someone else's job to clean up after you. So totally unacceptable to leave trash behind when you go camping. I know it's tempting sometimes to just leave behind maybe a bag of trash, but just imagine if everyone did that. See this beautiful desert background here? Just imagine if there was trash all over the place. It wouldn't be so pleasant. So do not litter, clean up after yourselves. I know it goes without saying, but some people, they think it's okay to litter and trash the place. Totally unacceptable out here in Arizona. And another thing not to do out here in Arizona is mess with Native American uh, relics, the land, respect the land, respect the Native American ruins, if you come across them, don't pick things up, artifacts, and just think you can take them home or knock them off or misplace them, displace them. You'd be surprised how many people go out there to these Indian ruins, they find Native American civilization uh, remains, and they actually think they can like, you know, do things like paint graffiti on it, say Joe was here, Marianne was here, I love Marianne, right next to a real petroglyph. If you see a petroglyph, don't think that you can add your own graffiti. It's just not cool. Yeah, so another one is do not refuse someone water in Arizona. I don't know if you know that, but that's actually a law. So if someone asks you for water, you're supposed to provide them with water. And that would make sense being that we are such a dry climate. It really is important to stay hydrated. So that's a good point to add on to that would be do not forget to drink a lot of water. So. Uh, both of those go hand in hand right there. Water is our friend out here in Arizona, especially this year. We're in a total drought. I mean, this is really bad down here in Phoenix with the dry climate and the lack of rain. All right, so another one that's coming up is do not just explore Arizona from a car. People think that, oh, well, it's a long drive in between, but you'd be surprised how many things are really cool that you're passing up along the way. If we just take, for example, Phoenix to Flagstaff, there's so many cool stops along the I-17 that if you only knew what was off the road, then you would, you would go out there and get off the beaten path and explore. So don't just explore Arizona from a car. Actually get out there and explore by foot. Let's talk about things not to do when you're driving. Number one, do not forget to wear your seatbelt. That's the law. Also, it is advised not to text and drive. That's also a law out here in Arizona. Another thing that's really big is DUI. Anytime you go over 0 .08 blood alcohol content, you are in violation of the law. And out here in Arizona, they take DUI and DWI very seriously with fines and even possible imprisonment. Go read up on the law. So don't drink too much and think it's okay to get behind the wheel because out here in Arizona, they drop the hammer on you. 
All right, so another thing is don't swim in these canals. People like to swim in these canals. They think they're rivers. They think they can just take a canoe or something up and down there. It's actually pretty dangerous. This canal looks safe, but don't swim in a canal out here in Arizona. Even though it looks so calm and safe, we have many of them, just canals. That's not the place to go. That's our drinking water, by the way. And don't forget to brush up on your Arizona history. As you can see, Mr. Barry Goldwater here, well, you've got a lot of Arizona history dating all the way back to the Ho'okam, the Navajo, the Hopi, the Zuni, the Anasazi, so much history. So when you come out here to Arizona, or if you already live in Arizona, don't forget to brush up on your history. There's more to it than just the OK Corral and Tombstone. All right. Do not be like me and stand too close to this cactus right here. This is a Choya cactus. If you get a jumping Choya cactus, a teddy bear Choya cactus, chain fruit Choya, these Choyas, man, they're wicked. Be careful around these things, so don't get too close. I've got experience getting close, and I'm not trying to be like a crocodile hunter or anything, but these Choyas, you get one of these in you, you will absolutely not be a happy camper. All right, this is a big thing. Do not waste water if you can help it. As you can see right here, the Central Arizona Project commemoration right here at this Barry Goldwater Memorial. Don't waste water out here in Arizona if you can help it. I mean, it is on everyone to conserve water. I know we have enough water, but you shouldn't take the precious resource of water very lightly out here in Arizona and just squander it or waste it. This is a desert at the end of the day. Even if they say we have enough water supply, still, don't waste water out here in Arizona. All right, so another thing is don't get too comfortable with the wildlife out here. So you can see out in this desert right here, you have a lot of different terrain. And in there's gonna be snakes and cavalinas and coyotes. And if you get too comfortable with them, some of them can actually attack you. You'd be surprised how many people get comfortable with feeding animals like cavalinas and coyotes. And then they get close, come back, and they're still hungry, maybe looking for you when you're not around. They might even take your animals. So, uh, I mean, feeding, feeding birds in a bird feeder, not so bad. But uh, when it comes to feeding other forms of wildlife like mammals, uh, bobcats, mountain lions, be careful with that one right there. All right, here's a big thing. Don't take the fire danger, fire risk in Arizona lightly. That is a big deal out here when we get wildfires. You can see, even when they say no smoke out here, you can see these mountains from New Year's Eve. People were burning their wood burning fireplaces, shooting off fireworks, and that put a lot of smoke up into the air. So when they say no burn days, don't take that stuff lightly because they're there for a reason. Especially when they tell you no campfires when you're camping because that's how those fires start and when it's high fire risk danger wow you don't want to be that guy who is responsible for burning down the forest or the desert so another thing is don't get too comfortable pulling for your home team out here in arizona we like the cardinals the coyotes the suns the diamondbacks this is arizona so when you come out here and you go out don't get too comfortable pulling for your home team like the seattle seahawks Chicago Cubs. I mean, you're not going to get too many problems, but just don't get too comfortable getting out of hand with that. All right, so another thing is don't get too comfortable trying to grow tropical plants out here in this dry, cold, arid climate. Many people have tried. It's not easy. It can be done, but growing papayas, bananas, mangoes, good luck with that. Some people will succeed. Some people just give up. You can't really grow too many things out here aside from bougainvilleas, oleanders, most desert plants but some people have a little bit of luck with tropicals but you have to keep in mind it freezes here in the winter and it gets extremely hot in the summer tropical plants don't like that so I thought I'd throw that in there wow so all right you don't want to be that guy who goes fishing or hunting without a permit like these guys in the wild west you got to get proper documents to go hunting and fishing out here in Arizona All right, so another thing is do not cross washes, rivers, dry beds during flash flood season because when there's a heavy wall of water coming, you can get swept down. So you can see right here, this would be a flood zone. 
You wouldn't want to be in this area during a heavy torrential rain because a wall of water could be coming down and taking out you or your car. So do not cross flash flood zones during heavy torrential rains, monsoons, whatnot. So figure we put that in there. All right, so in conclusion, don't forget to read the laws when you come out here. There are some pretty tricky laws, like the ones that say don't wear spurs when you're walking through a hallway or don't uh, put a donkey in the bathtub, believe it or not, that's a law. Don't kill a camel, okay? Lots of weird laws like that. You might want to look into those. Uh, so anyways, thanks for watching this episode of Living in Arizona, and we'll see you on the next one.